Yogi, I would like to ask uh, my first questions to you, seeing how you are from the University of Saskatchewan. Would you agree that investments in schools and students is important? Oui. Yes. Thank you. Recent reports show that the Saskatchewan education system is paying over $200 million in carbon tax annually. Isn't that money that could be invested in student education and research, like the research that you do? Les fonds peuvent être allocés à... The funds could be allocated in a number of ways, yes. Those are public funds. It's politicians who decide how to allocate them. Yes, in 2021, the University of Saskatchewan paid $3.7 million in carbon tax. Prior to raises in the carbon tax, this will rise to $12.1 million by 2030. And according to the 2022-23 operating budget of the University of Saskatchewan, operating revenue cleared operating costs by 17 million. With such close margins, does the ever-increasing carbon tax not threaten the existence of public institutions such as the University of Saskatchewan and the research that you yourself are conducting? I can't establish a causal link between the carbon tax and funding to the institution uh, and also f funding for secondary education or higher education. That's not my area of expertise. So those are things that can be very well uh, distinguished. You know, the political inputs and outputs are different. I don't have an answer for you. I can't tell you whether there is a direct causal link between a carbon tax and uh, research funding. Uh, but surely when a government is paying that amount of money in a carbon tax or a province is paying that amount of money to the federal government in a carbon tax, that is money that is not going to fund programs within their own province.